everybody, Lisa here again with another Vera Bradley bag of the day. So on the heels of my last video, I thought I would just knock them out to get all this, the whole Foxwood incident over with. <laughs> so I'm not pretending that I, you know, shot the video on another day, same outfit, you know, deal with it. Go birds. <laughs> um, so, uh, as I was saying in the previous video about the Foxwood Mini Glenna, when I went to the signature store, I had the great sales associate, Elise, who was helping me. Um, it's so weird to, to, but that's her name because um, my some, some family and, and my husband sometimes and friends in college would call me Elise. <laughs> so it's like I'm talking about myself. Um, so when she came up to me, I happened to be looking at this bag, the display one that they had out. This is the on-the-go crossbody, just the regular size one. There is a large, but this is just the regular size one. I do have a video on the large one. Um, and so I was looking at this, and I uh, had told her I was interested in the foxes, and did she have any, maybe another one in the back that had a fox on it? Because the one I was looking at, I think it might have just had a chipmunk. And she said, okay, let me go look. <laughs> she came back. She said, I found foxes. I found a fox. So she handed me this one with that fox right up there. And it's great with the rabbit right there. Again, with that interesting leaf right over it. I uh, love that part of the pattern. I love that you can see the spots on the um, back of the rabbit. It's nice attention to detail that, you know, Vera usually does. Their designers usually do put into the patterns, especially with the animals. And so I, I don't I don't know if she realized when she handed me the bag because she just said I, I found a fox. Um, and, and then, she, you know, uh, great, she walked away and was helping somebody else. <laughs> and so I was looking at it more closely and I realized, well, there's a fox down there. And then interestingly, the other east-west pocket, these are the east exterior east-west pockets, uh, has a fox there and these pocket the pocket fabric is the same pretty much it's you know almost exactly cut in the almost exact same spot you know give or take like maybe a quarter of an inch or something so uh, it's always kind of neat when that happens I always feel like it's a kind of a little bit of Vera luck every now and then you'll get a bag with one side that's exactly the same as the other side and it's rare but, you know it doesn't usually happen I have a bright tote like that I have a Bordeaux Blooms bright tote like that so this was great, you know, and, and uh, even on the crossbody strap, the cross, it's always also I feel very lucky when the straps are cut from a good strip of fabric because right there on the strap, there's a little bit of the chipmunk face there. So that's kind of a, a nice little bit of luck. So, um, this was my first on-the-go crossbody, uh, and the reason that I got it was because I'm finding that I'm getting more interested in the crossbody bags. Peaches, do you think you could not chew that up against the video stand? <laughs> oh, it's tough working with wildlife. Uh, she's on the floor chewing a bone. Um, when Duke got sick, um, and I was having uh, quite often actually to rush him to the veterinary emergency room. Um, I realized that uh, very almost immediately I didn't want a shoulder bag. I wanted a crossbody bag that would stay on my body and I could just focus on him and I didn't have to worry about my bag slipping around. And so I had uh, um, the Hadley on the go crossbody and I was using that and I, I love it for that. It would just so it really changed my feeling about crossbodies. I, mean, I used to wear crossbody bags like a messenger bag, like everybody did back in the day in high school. Um, but as an adult, I really hadn't been doing much with crossbodies. But that's changing now. Um, and so this was seemed like a, a comparable size to that. It's a little bit smaller than the Hadley um, on the go, but it's it's a good size, not too small. 
And you can use the large version of this as a crossbody, but that does get a little bit bigger. You don't always need so much space. Um, and so on the front, so that's that's why this was appealing to me and I was interested in this one. Um, it's got a zipper pocket on one side and on the back. This is technically the back. If you care about stuff like that, there's nothing on the back. And then it has those east-west side pockets. Let me see my... I probably would not keep a phone in there. I think my iPhone, I have an iPhone 11, I think it would probably stick out, but yeah, it sticks out. It slips in there, but it sticks out. I would never carry a phone like that, especially not such an expensive one. Um, I'm from New York originally, and <laughs> you guard your stuff. I'll keep it, I'll keep it PG. You guard your stuff. Um, top zipper is plastic, soft plastic zipper, which is nice, and the ribbon pull tie that they seem to be going back to, which is nice. Um, this zipper on the front used to be, well, I don't have, I do, I have since gotten another one of these, and it has the older, uh, the previous zipper they were using here, which was the metal, that metal, god-awful metal zipper that everybody hates, or a lot of people hate. Um, there's always catching on things and scratch your hand, and it wasn't working smoothly a lot of the time. But they've replaced it with this, which I think may be plastic, um, but it has that look, that metal color, that silver look. So I guess they're, they're liking that look, and so they're, this is a nice compromise then. I mean, I, I'm not so attached to the, the look of the metal, to me sometimes with a pretty bag it's almost like the equivalent of like you put on an evening dress and then you put on sneakers it's sort of incongruous but it doesn't bother me and I, I really love this softer zipper I love it thank you Vera because those metal zippers are, are rough and they pull on things so like, I wouldn't want to wear a hand knit scarf that I would stick in my bag or a silk scarf wouldn't want it anywhere near those those the teeth on those zippers and that is also the ribbon zipper pull, which is nice. So, um, let's see, the strap is thicker than the Mini Glenna, which I said in the previous video was about seven eighths of an inch. And you can get more in here. So that wider strap is helpful for comfort. And so this, I did write this down. Again, the strap adjusts from 30 to 55. That's similar to the same, I think, as the Mini Glenna. I think I have it there, yeah. 30 to 55 inches is your adjustment. So this is that it's adjusted at its shortest. I guess you could use it as a shoulder bag this way. I I, I probably wouldn't do that, but um, I don't know what this drop is. It's about 14. Um, so let's just see what that looks like. Let's just see what that looks like. So again, that's, yeah, it's falling a little low for me. I, I would tend to like it up there, um, so I probably wouldn't wear it this way, but that's not what I bought it for. I bought it for the crossbody aspect of it, so I need to just adjust it. And these these metal um, buckles on on, both, on this and also on the Mini Glenna, they work really well, and they st I found that they stay in place. So that's probably about where I would have it hitting on my body. I like it a little bit low. I mean, maybe some people have it up here, but I tend to like it just sort of covering my hips a little bit. <laughs> a, little, a little hip camouflage there. So very comfortable. And you can see the strap is much wider. And that really does make, for me, make a difference when I'm loading up a bag with stuff. And so does the Hadley on the go uh, crossbody again has that wider strap, or, you know. And I was well, I was taking all stuff with me on Duke's appointment, so his papers, previous appointments, and uh, other things. What's nice too with a, a strap this width is that it gives you a nice taste of the fabric more so than a thinner strap, and I like that. It gives you you get a, more of a sense of what's going on in the pattern. And here. It's a little uh, chipmunk there. I think, you know, I, I put it on with the back facing out, but I would imagine since he's right side up there, if I put, if I put it with the zipper facing out, uh, 
know, he's probably on here somewhere upside down. Yeah, he's over there upside down now. <laughs> so anyway, that's that. So I'm very pleased with it, and uh, it's, it's very comfortable. And inside, I could, I, if you watched my previous video on the mini Glen hour, I had to adjust how I packed stuff up. I didn't have to do that as much here. So you do get more in here. And the size of this top opening is 11, whereas on that mini Glenna, it was 9. Um, so that, that's, you know, 2 inch difference up top, right away, right up top. So the top opening is 11. The height is nine, about 9.5. And, and the bottom width is about 12. So it just gets a slightly wider from the opening to the bottom. Okay, so on the strap width is one and a quarter, just in case anyone's wondering. So you can see I have everything just sort of stacked in there, and it's my usual stuff with the, um, my usual charger cord pouch and my usual GPS pouch and my iPad mini all in there and a larger wallet again. So back to all my basics. And of course, sometimes I'll throw in tissues or you know, a lip balm or something in one of the slip pockets or a zipper pocket and whatever bag I'm taking. I just don't always think about it for the video. I could put, I would definitely, like I said, I wouldn't put my phone. I probably wouldn't put keys in here because these feel a little shallow. Um, whereas I feel like on the mini Glenna, the side pockets that, that the Glennas have, this goes deep. This is deep, you know, goes down the bottom of the bag. So I feel like it's a little bit more secure when you know, I drop my car keys in there. But I, I probably wouldn't do it here. Maybe I would put tissues or napkins or something in, in those the east west exterior east west pockets. Um so yeah, just take all that out just to show the inside, but that's you know it all just fit in there very nicely. And inside you've got on one wall of the bag, it's gonna be hard to see because it's dark. But there is a zipper pocket there. It's a good size. Uh, almost the entire size of the bag, the width of the bag there. A little bit short. But. And on the other wall of the bag, again, going to be hard to see probably, but there are two slip pockets, and they are edged with the exterior fabric, which, which is a nice little touch. So you don't just have that sharper edge of Fab, lining fabric. That's a nice little detail there. And those are good size slip pockets. I don't know if a phone would fit in there. Yeah, and this, I mean, I would never, I don't need to slip this in there, but I mean, if you're someone who just puts your phone in without anything around it, it sort of slips in there. It's not sticking up uh, too far above the edge of the Slip pocket it is, though, maybe about a, by about a half an inch, but I don't think that's a problem. It's a good place to put it. So that's that. Um, no critters on the bottom. But my three foxes, so I saw that and I said, okay, well, i got to do that. <laughs> and then, actually before any of that happened, so, so the Glenna and the On The Go, this uh, woman Elise helped me with, the sales associate Elise, who was just awesome. But when I first walked in the store, they had their little display with their uh, bright crossbody deals. And I only had a few in Foxwood on the rack still. I mean, maybe they had more in the back. I don't know. And I'm not really interested in this bag because I, in my head, I'm thinking it's too small. Um, but I thought, well, let me just look at those Foxwood. <laughs> because they, they had a whole slew of the, the Berry Mary. I can't stand that pattern name. <laughs> um, and so anyway, I went flipping through the, you know, the few in the back that were the, the foxwood. And the last one I came to was this. And I just couldn't, you know, pass it by. It's hard to pass by when you see good critter placement. It's hard to pass it by because you know, you know, it's hard to find. Um, and this one is the front. And it has a fox there, and also nicely not, didn't have the, the there's those two larger flower elements in this pattern. I talk about in the mini Glenna video. That's one of them there. 
and that's the other one there. And those are my two least favorite parts of this pattern, so neither of them are on this bag in any major way, so that was very satisfying for me. And then when I flipped it around, I saw that fox there, I said, oh my god, I mean, what are the odds, right? Sometimes you get no foxes. I mean, you can go days looking at stuff and not find any foxes. This can be very frustrating. Um, and there's a chipmunk there. That's nice. A chipmunk. So this is a much smaller bag. Uh, again, would require me to probably adjust, like I do for the Mini Glenna, to adjust uh, what I'm carrying. Um, and it's very simplistic, this bag. Uh, just the slip pocket with a, mag a covered magnet closure on the front. I do like a covered magnetic closure. It's my favorite kind. <laughs> um, and nothing on the back. So, I mean, it's nice to get a little piece of the pattern like that uninterrupted, you know, on both sides, actually. But if you don't have a critter, you're kind of shit out of luck, right? So, um, again, this is a narrower strap. I don't think, oh, and I did get another, just like the, the shopping event with all the chipmunk heads on the straps. <laughs> and it also comes with this uh, not quilted pouch, zipper pouch, um, in a lining fabric. So on the Berry and Mary, it's those rabbits, which are very sweet. And the front slip pocket has this uh, strap with a lobster claw clasp on it. And I assume it's to, you know, this came sort of attached to that. Uh, I, I'm probably never gonna keep this in that exterior slip pocket. I'll use it inside or maybe with another bag or something. I don't know, put charger cords or something in it, but good, you know, I think that was their intent with that strap and that front pocket. So if I just throw a couple of things in here, I can show you what it looks like and inside Ah, oh, peaches, this is all wet now. Did you lick up here? <sighs> oh, luckily it's fabric. <laughs> it's just a little spit on some fabric. Um, there's no no pockets in here. Slip pockets, zipper pockets, nothing. It's just this the open space with the very pretty fabric. You can see the blue uh, jackrabbit there. So just throw a couple things in here and then um, put it on so people get an idea of what it looks like. Now this this is 8 by 10 by 2, so very narrow. Strap, strap drop again, I mean the strap length adjusts, what is it? Yeah, so it's about 29, 30 to 55. So that seems to be like their average adjustable crossbody strap length now. And the pouch I think I measured it, uh, I think it's about 8 by 5 roughly, that zipper pouch. And that pouch, it's kind of nice, what's nice about it, where did I put it, oh. Like I said, not quilted, but it is like a double wall of the fabric, which, let's see if I can show, prove, prove my point. So I'm pulling it apart here, I'm pulling the fabric apart, the walls apart, those inside. But what's nice about that, what gives you a little bit of thickness, you know, but also then you get the inside the pattern is the right side also, not the wrong side of the fabric. So Here's a good uh, opportunity to look at that lining again, but I have shown it in other videos. And the light's a little blue here today because it is very cloudy. It's already about to snow. So you can see the fox there. It's a, looks like a, I think it was a quail or a pheasant or something, I don't know, and that little field mouse looking thing. There's another bird. So it's nice that it's nice that they have two different bird designs in the lining. And like I say, with this lining, I mean, what's so nice about it um, is the contrast between that the sharp rendering of the floral, you know, the foliage type elements on the ground, the background, and then the sort of softer um, rendering of the animals that that look like they almost are done in watercolor um, or very juicy um, <laughs> magic marker, you know, magic marker that's got a lot of ink in it, very wet magic marker. Um, 
because not only did not only do the colors make the animals pop off that purple ground, but the rendering makes them pop. That difference in their treatment makes them pop. The soft quality versus the precise line work of the ground. So that's kind of nice about this pattern. And it's black background, just like on the foxwood, you know, main pattern. Okay, so I got a couple of things in here. I didn't put my iPad in here because, like I was saying in the Glenna video, with a smaller crossbody, you want a little, I do anyway, want a little flexibility of it against, when it's against my body and that iPad is real stiff. This is not a removable strap like on the Glenna, uh, just like on the uh, Icon, I should have said that on the on the go, uh, not a removable crossbody strap. Let's see how, how this looks. <laughs> yeah, I want it a little bit, a little bit lower than that. Man, again, got to have my, my hip camouflage. <laughs> So, you know, very cute and not as small looking as I envisioned when I was just seeing it in photos on the website. And this was a great deal for that, for the holiday sale that they were having, which I think they, you know, they've extended, I think, through today. It was supposed to end yesterday. Um, so, you know, they're selling it for $30 and then they're giving you the 30% off of that. So that's, you know, $21. You can't, you know you can't beat that with a stick, so this it's a good. I think it's a it's a good deal. And again, just very pleased with the pattern placement, not just the animals, but this this kind of vine, you know, sweeping up there. That's a nice curve to look at, and again, none of those big the biggest gaudiest flowers in the pattern. And here, this spray of, of uh, leaves uh, by the fox, this little like fan shaped flower. But again, even though these are sort of lighter colors, this light blue and this light purple, the lavender, um, it is still very electric, right? I mean, because they're very light against the black. So there's that contrast, it's almost vibrating. Um, and it also may have something to do with the, the rendering here. The edge, this this sharp jagged edges here, also are giving it sort of an electric, an electrified look, like they're stuck in a plug, like <laughs> they're stuck in an outlet, and they're getting electrified. Um, it's just you know it's very nice uh, to get all, you see all the other little details in this pattern rather than being overwhelmed by those two gigantic uh, loud flowers. So I was pleased with the pattern placement on this for beyond just having the foxes. And then I was making my way to the checkout counter saying, God, I got to get the hell out of here. <laughs> and I said, well, let me just look and see if there's any other critters on anything. You never know. Um, I have my coupons and my, you know, all the discounts and my gift card or whatever. So I gift card to myself. And I did find the campus double ID, which people know if they've watched some of my other recent videos I'm using for I use for photos. And I saw this chipmunk, and so I thought, well, can't beat that, so I'll I'll go for it. It's a relatively inexpensive item. You know, it just has another window in there, which I'll put more photos in, and other slip slip pockets where I can put photos in there. And. I did. I did say, well, I have to let me look at the double accordion wristlet because I do like this. I use it as a wallet. I remove this pleather uh, wristlet strap because, like I said, I don't need more pleather in my life. <laughs> I'm never going to put this on my wrist and walk around with this hanging from my wrist. I'm, not, I'm just not, I don't think I'm girly enough for something like that. So, um, again, it's nice. Ribbon pull tie, back to the ribbon pull tie. And why I like this double accordion wristlet is because I feel that it opens wider. I do have some videos on this. It opens wider, I feel like, than some of the regular accordion wallets. So because it has that double, it has a bigger gusset. Um, so for that reason, and again, you open it up wide and you get that like lovely lining. 
But what really sold me on this, and I also like this item because you get a, a taste of the trim. And I knew this is not a pattern I like enough that I'm going to get the Vera tote with the trim. So this gets me, and I'm probably not, I would not get in a 100 in this either because I don't like the pattern enough. And it would be super hard to find critters on that, I bet. I mean, this, the one that they had on display in the store didn't have any animals on it. And I, I knew I wasn't really interested in it, so I didn't ask her to go back and look for me. Um, but So you get a little bit of that trim there, which is nice. You get a little, little dainty, little delicate flowers and little dots. So um, I was pleased for that. I like the purple running in there with the orange. That's a nice combination. But then I flipped it over, and I saw the rabbit. And so I said, well, okay, um, I, I got to go for the rabbit. I really do like the rabbit very much. I mean, I know people are thinking this is all, this pattern is all about the foxes, but I have a number of things now that I just bought for rabbits. So uh, this is great. And then, again, with that, uh, this interesting leaf above the rabbit, that's nice that that leaf falls over the rabbit. So that was it. Then I finally said, oh, my God, okay, you'll get me the hell out of here. <laughs> So anyway, that was it. My my Foxwood incident. The bright crossbody. The on the go crossbody. And the mini Glenna from the previous video, which really liking very much. Um, surprisingly, I surprised myself, but really, really liking it. Um, I hope people found that helpful and thanks so much for watching. Hopefully see you next time on Vera Bradley Bag of the Day.